Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. That sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. toast! I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna, and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what? Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them 
going to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Caught your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves. I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, oh, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. Oh, I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. Uh, I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. We have a good chance to get a drop on them forced fuckers now. We'll tear them apart like fucking rags. Just look, man. Tell me, which barrack are you from after all? I thought I knew everyone. Are you even from our camp? Ah, uh, well, if you're not one of ours, I'm in your debt anyways. Thank you, man. <laughs> As for these fuckers... If you want to get through their territory, you have to move like a ghost. Though, uh, you look so tough, you could take them all out by yourself, I bet. So if you see any of them fuckers, do them all in. They have it coming to them for hanging out boys from those posts. <sighs> Good luck, man. You'll need it.
Look right there. It's the brethren of the coaster. Take another step and we run our rig on you. Aye, another step and you die. <laughs> yeah, so beat it, you scallywag. If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass. Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much. already. Nobody came for the kids. Viking and Tusha aren't coming back either. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could be expected if there's only static on air. Help is not coming. Then again, do we even need help? Our valley was apparently not a target at all. Even the fallout seemed to have spared us. The counter gives me an all-green reading, even directly under the drain pipes. The children are well prepared. All that time hiking was spent well. It will be easy to teach them hunting. We have all the necessities, and what we don't have, we can make ourselves. To hell with doubt, let's tackle problems as they arise. Survival comes first.
look, I've been thinking about asking you all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post, do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really. Thought of